Gas-insulated substations GIS play a pivotal role in modern electrical power systems, offering a compact and efficient solution for the transmission and distribution of electricity. These substations employ sulfur hexafluoride SF6 gas as an insulating and arc-quenching medium, which offers numerous benefits over traditional air-insulated substations, such as improved reliability, lower maintenance needs, and reduced space requirements. The commissioning of GIS is crucial to the safe and reliable operation of modern electrical power systems. It involves conducting rigorous inspections and tests during the installation process. This technical guide aims to underscore the key elements that should be taken into account when inspecting and testing a gas-insulated substation, as detailed in the provided checklist. The checklist encompasses a wide array of inspections and tests, starting with the physical examination of the substation components. It underscores the need to inspect enclosures, verify proper alignment and grounding, and ensure the quality of paintwork. It also emphasizes the importance of installing visible indicators, pressure gauges, and appropriate materials for gas piping. The checklist further covers various facets of gas handling, handling, such as the proper operation of gas handling carts, the presence of filling and degassing fittings, and the verification of gas pressure and content post-filling. It highlights the necessity for leak testing, calibration of gas pressure gauges, and functionality testing of gas density switches. The dependability of any system hinges on both the interconnectedness of its components and the quality of the components themselves. It's presumed that comprehensive individual equipment testing has been conducted prior to system commissioning. This commissioning manual outlines general testing procedures for system components, which are typically included in the original equipment procurement proposal. It's crucial to follow the manufacturer's guidelines in addition to the testing recommendations provided here. While electrical systems comprise a variety of components, there are certain tests that are universally applicable. These manual details the standard procedures and norms for verifying the operational integrity of equipment based on specific component checks, inspections, and tests. These are grounded in international standards and must be strictly adhered to, as per the operation and maintenance manuals provided by the equipment manufacturer. Furthermore, this manual aims to impart comprehensive knowledge about electrical tests, checklists, testing criteria, test formats, and circuit connection diagrams necessary for testing. All test procedures and results are documented for future reference and comparison with maintenance test results. This ensures a thorough review process and allows for continuous monitoring of equipment health over time. In addition, the checklist addresses crucial factors related to the overall functionality and labeling of the substation. It stresses the correct install installation and labeling of front panel devices, operating devices, and phase marking. It also underscores the importance of visually verifying disconnect switch and grounding switch positions, installing dispatch numbers, and marking gas density gauges in each zone. Finally, the checklist includes a series of electrical tests to be conducted, such as insulation resistance testing, contact resistance testing, timing tests for circuit breakers, disconnect switches, and earthing switches, as well as functional tests for trip-free and anti-pump circuits. By adhering to this comprehensive checklist, stakeholders involved in the installation and commissioning of gas-insulated substations can ensure a thorough examination of all critical aspects, thereby fostering the safe and reliable operation of the substation throughout its service life. To ensure the safe and reliable operation of a GIS, it is essential to conduct thorough inspections and tests during the installation and commissioning process. The key aspects that should be considered when inspecting and testing a GIS include physical examination of the substation components, inspecting enclosures, verifying proper alignment and grounding, and ensuring the quality of paintwork. Installing visible indicators, pressure gauges, and proper materials for gas piping. Proper wiring, sizing, and grounding of current transformers CTs and voltage transformers VTs. Use of suitable wiring materials, shielding for control and instrument cables, and appropriate color coding. Correct operation of gas handling carts, availability of filling and degassing fittings, and verification of gas pressure and content after filling. Leak testing, calibration of gas pressure gauges, and functionality testing of gas density switches. Switchgear commissioning. The commissioning process of MVHV switchgear involves several checks and tests. The key aspects include small wiring and connection of LV cables. The auxiliary wiring should be neatly supported, 
and loose wires should be avoided as they may interfere with other devices. Filling with insulation medium, depending upon the design of the switchgear, oil or SF6 gas is to be filled as an insulating medium. Final inspection, this includes checking the correct installation and labeling of front panel devices, operating devices, and phase marking. Testing and commissioning, this involves visual inspection, mechanical check, electrical check, operational check, insulation resistance check, and high voltage check. Remember, these are just the general steps involved in the commissioning process. The exact procedures can vary depending on the specific type of GIS and switchgear, as well as the manufacturer's guidelines. Always refer to the manufacturer's instructions and safety guidelines when performing these tasks. One can see more detail in these slides of commissioning activities. The following safety precautions shall be taken in consideration prior, during and after conducting these test measurements.